Okay, welcome back guys. So let's create some details for the lips. Okay, so I'm just going to create a new layer. I'm still on the highest subdivision level, so create a new layer in here. Name these two lips. Okay, so I'm going to be using let me just control shift on this because I already have a separate poly group for this already, so this will work just fine. So let's mark this, bring everything back out, invert the marks. Okay. I'm going to be using the max lasso. Make sure symmetry is turned on for this. Let me get something like so. Yeah, something like it should be fine. Then I'm actually I'm actually going to be I'm actually going to be using an alpha for this. So on the flip no flip normal skin, we have the lip bottom around the uh, so let's use the lip, this lip bottom radial fade 10 mid value 45 let's put out 50 instead so we symmetry turned on. Let's get a closer look in here. Probably a bit higher intensity around 28 should be fine. Let's try this on. Yeah, nice. Really nice. Okay. I'm still going to work on that a bit more though, so that should be fine for now. So I'm going to look for, I have another lip alpha though. I have another lip alpha, so I'm going to use that lip alpha, another lip alpha I have in here, lip, 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 yeah, lip alpha. Uh, transition alpha uh, lip upper lip lower let me use this instead and I'm just going to same thing also radio fit just put this around 50 ish so I will turn off symmetry for this and I'll just drag this out in the center probably a bit more doesn't look like it's actually in there properly though probably I should increase intensity let's see if I increase intensity yes yeah, something pretty much like this should be fine No symmetry for this. This on the side. We also need to do the same thing on the on the edge around this edge. Not break up the edge of this. The symmetry is turned on also. Let's break up the lower part of the edge. No, not too much. Like not that. Not that. Ton of symmetry. Uh. uh. This, this looks fine. I think that should work.
maybe soften it down a bit more. So turn on symmetry for this. Turn on this smooth, turn, on, turn down the smooth intensity. And just smooth out the edge. So it blends in quite nicely. What's it going to do? Some sculpted this is on top of this though. But for now, let's just get this like so. Uh, maybe before. Okay, let's turn this off for now. Put this here. Turn off symmetry. Alpha one should be fine. Okay. Next, we're going to do is to intensify some of this. What is this? Okay, intensity is way too much. So we're just going to intensify some of this a bit more. Kind of make them pop. Okay. Let me use matcap gray for this. Let me turn this off. Let's see what that gives us. I don't think I don't. I'm not. I'm not trying to go to. I don't want to go to intense on the leaves though. But at least just to break up the surface a bit more. Most of these details are not going to be visible anyway, since we're going to be adding some color map to this. So let's invert this. So let's get this. Max this. Okay. Invert the max. Let's get this like so. Okay. Let's go in here and then use the flip normal upper lip. Flip skin upper lip upper. Turn on symmetry for this. Let's get this at an angle like so. Oh, yes, then let's get this. Okay, increase this all the way to 31. Oh, supposed to get put this at on drag wreck. So intense. And do that. Oh, this one looks very noisy though. 
take it down a bit, take it down a bit more. Okay. Let's see if we can use the same thing in the center. Let me see if I can get an idea out of this. I have a reference here. Okay. Okay, it shouldn't be this noisy. So let's undo that. Let's undo that midpoints. So we're going to be using the other order lip I have called transitional lips. Wait, hold on, I think I saw something. Uh, let's, let's, let's know experiments. Transition alpha, lip lower, lip upper, lip upper. This one looks like something that would work. Then just lip O three O five, lip O five lower. I don't even remember where I got this lip upper from, but. It has been a very useful way of kind of doing things quickly. Okay. So let's just get this in the center. Okay. We obviously need Antonon symmetry for this. Uh, let me turn this off. Turn off symmetry. Let's see what we have without symmetry. I did that twice. Let's see. Let's do the other one. And do the two of them. Stone symmetry for this. No, it doesn't look right. Directionality doesn't look right. Uh, maybe, maybe this would work and do that. So I'm just using the damn standard brush, kind of accentuate this a bit more, kind of make it slightly better i think there's, there's something this place is empty so let's do something here like so so i'm going to be using the same standard brush turn this off let's go take this down So I'm just breaking up the uniformity of it. But I'm still going to reduce the general overall intensity of this dome. Because it looks quite harsh. Looking quite harsh.
Okay. Let's see what we have. Yeah, this definitely work. What do you think that? We're just going to have to. Let's just reduce the. Let's reduce the intensity of the lips down a bit more. So I'll go off recording. Take this down. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, we can definitely work with this. All right, so this wraps it up for the face. The next we're going to do is to start creating rather baking baking maps out of this, and then we carry on to the next stage of the of texturing. So. Thank you guys for watching. Let me save this out. And I will see you guys in the next lessons. Bye for now.